Hi, my name is Linda Ortiz. I'm, this is my video lab report for Lab 3 Part 1. We were told to observe an object moving at a constant velocity um, with no change in direction. I am particularly observing a ride on an escalator by a person. The main result of this lab is to prove the assumption that the force on the system f of net equals zero. To prove this, I'm going to use a computational model as well as my video and extract data from Tracker. Here's a clip of my friend traveling on an escalator at an assumed constant velocity with no change in direction. In Tracker, I organize my frames and set a boundary from which I would extract my data for later usage. After getting my frames, I set up my coordinate system. I lined up my friend with a positive x-axis. I then used the calibration stick to measure the length of my friend's head. I took the center of her face as the average posi position and marked it. I went through every frame within my clip and marked the average position of my friend's head as she moved down the escalator. All of these positions would help me predict the motion of my friend to help me calculate the average velocity. The formula for average velocity is the change of position over the change of time, final position minus initial over the change in time. I extracted data from Tracker and put it into Excel. With Excel, I was able to make a graph to visually see the findings of my experimentation with my video. As you can see, there's a constant relationship position in position and time. The blue line that you see here is between the relationship of position and time. The green is when I calculate average velocity. The scattered red dots that you see here are various velocities. It helped me realize how important accuracy was within experimentation. Nonetheless, taking the average definitely helped. Now that I have extracted my experimental data, data, it's time to move on to vPython and coding for my computational model. In vPython, for my animation, um, there's going to be a ball that represents my friend going down the escalator. I designated a certain time interval for the ball, the same time interval that my friend used going down the escalator. I applied Newton's second law within vPython. Final velocity is equal to initial velocity plus, in parentheses, f of net divided by mass delta t. Mass doesn't really come into play here because if f net equals zero, the mass will never even show up. In the animation, you see the ball move along the positive x-axis. Then you see a graph representing the same data I, used, er, I found earlier in an Excel sheet with tracker data. Now it's time to compare my computational model data with my experimental data from earlier. As you see here, the both were quite similar. It worked out perfectly. My computational model proved my assumption that f of net equals zero and my object moved at a constant velocity without a change in direction. Now that I have proved my assumption, it's time to ask a few questions about my process and my experiment. If I change some things, what would happen? So now I ask the question, what if? What if I change the origin of my object as it moved along the positive x-axis? Instead, let's say I make it move along the negative y-axis. So now it's time to go back into vPython, change the code, and see what happens. So I go back to vPython, and I change my initial conditions to negative 2 and the velocity to negative 2. As you look at the animation, you will see that the ball now moves to the left, and the graph will appear different. The object is now going more negative along the graph. Now for another question. So now to ask the question, what does it mean? In my first experiment, we started with a velocity that was constant, observed my assumption, and proved that f of net equals zero. So what if we suggested that f of naught was not zero and the velocity wasn't constant, that it will speed up or slow down? Back to vPython to prove the new, the new hypothesis. I went back to vPython and made sure to change the f of net vector to something other than zero, here, five, for the x and the y. As you look at the animation, you'll notice that the object completely goes off course and does not travel at a constant velocity. And that is the end of my lab report. See you next week.